Welcome to section number three, gas absorption. We're going to see here what are the basics on gas absorption, what nomenclature do we use, some examples in real life or in the industrial life, what is the sorption or stripping, the course of the, the structure, the scope, and some case studies maybe even. We're going to see the four main type of unit operations that we have for absorption, which is essentially the tray columns, spray columns, bubble columns, and packed columns. We're going to see the basics on the design. What do we need to design a gas absorber? The, maybe the diameter, height, how many stages do we need, the reflux, how many, what is the minimum uh, solvent ratio requirements, and so on. And especially we're going to see what do we need for the solvent. What makes a liquid a good solvent for a given gas absorption operation okay so guys whatever doubt you may have post it i'm always here i may take maybe one day but i always answer the questions and i wish you luck with your first lecture or introduction to gas absorption